Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Stish, and today I'm playing on a creative server called Lux Wonder, and I'm going to show you how to do a very cool spiral or double spiral effect with and without world edit. But of course, the world edit way is going to be a lot faster. Now, the IP is pvp.sx, and yeah, I'm just going to go to the place I'm lagging very bad because I have shader. Alright, so first thing that you're going to want to do is start out with a circle. I started with a 8 long, and 2, 1, 2, 8, 2, 1, 2, 8, and such and so. Now, you're going to want to grab your wand if you're using world edit, but mostly your first block, and put it right there, your first block of color, and your second block of color right there. And now... You kind of just want to go upward motion, like this, uh, breaking that, so it ends up to be like that, and then for this part, you're still going to want to go up at a diagonal, just break that. Boom. Boom. And boom. So you're just going to want to keep on doing that till how high you want yours to be. Alright, so when you finish what you get, what you, when you finish with your side that you wanted to do, now this is going to work. This step right now is for both the world edit and without, so no matter what, you're still going to want to do this. So now, you're going to want to work on the other side. Alright, so, when you do that, and you are done, hold up, let me turn off my render distance. It's so low because I have shaders on and I'm recording, which just demolishes my computer, and it's not very good. So, what I like to use is a blaze rod. Uh, you can use almost any, almost any item if you want, but this is the world edit way really quickly. You're going to want to do slash slash br. Um, Alright, so, um, with your brush, you're going to want to do slash slash br, cylinder. Um, the ID of the block, sometimes it can be a word like stone, but I did the ID of red stained clay since I don't know the ID of wool. And then the radius will be 2. You want to enter that, and for where all that, you just right click on each of the blocks. Which, oops, I forgot that one. Which will lead to a kind of spiral effect. Spirals. Now, depending on the amount of curve you have, and this part right down here will also determine on how much of a curve your thing has. Mine was more of a square, which it probably <laughs> should have been more circular, but oh well. And if you want to do it with the without world edit, you're going to have to do it very long and stressful. I want to go two out. Two out, two out, and two out for each block, and then fill it in like that. So you make kind of like boom, 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 and you're gonna want to do that with every block in the whole, uh, the whole spiral or double spiral. I don't know, it depends on what I'm going to call this video, if you go like that, oh I'm lagging so bad with shaders, and um, and uh, whatever you want to call it, um, fraps, recording at the same time, oh, I would not recommend it unless you have a better computer than mine, and my computer is pretty good, but now you're just going to want to keep on doing this, and it should look like this. boop. So, I did finish it with World Edit because I'm not going to try to 
do all of it. But yeah, this is a spiral effect. Um, after you're done building it, you can just go down here and break all the blocks that you made the outline of the circle with. And yeah, I probably should have made it more of a circular thing, but I didn't, which kind of led it to be more of a not as much turn and more of a straight up like that. But oh well. And yeah, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Um, you don't have to comment that. I'm horrible because I already know. And uh, yeah, ciao for now.